So I would be lying if I were to say that I was not looking forward to the next episode because of the whole vampire spooky theme. I'm really curious to see what the dungeon turns out to be, and I'm curious about the theme, even though it's Scorn, probably, obviously, and I don't like Scorn, but it's still exciting to think about on spooky theme. Like, if it does, I'll be disappointed if it doesn't really turn out bad, but I, I am curious about it. I, I, I am. But... I would be lying if I were to say that I saw this pop up on Bungie's blog talking about power increase and stuff. I would be lying if I were to say that this made me excited and made me understand why they did this and all these good things. Like they, they expect us to feel well, they would be wrong. Because this is so sad. It really is. And I, I, I will make this clear. It's not that big of a deal. Because we have the account-wide power increase thing, whatever, where uh, it goes a lot faster. It's not as tedious. But that doesn't matter. For those of you that are going to excuse this and stuff, please hear me out first with everything that I say. Because I, I see you out there where you're like, yeah, I... I love when they increase the number on our guardian that means nothing instead of doing things that actually we would like to play as like new content or bringing back old content to being like actually fun to do again because they they added loot or changed perks on them to make them interesting again or anything. So hear me out, but I'll read this first. Let's read this together. Power band increasing in next episode. And now our power systems experts, they're experts, take the room to share an update on power band increases and revenant. Hey all, with the final shape we introduced a wonderful feature called Fireteam Power with the goal of making it so friends could always play together no matter what their power levels are. Which, by the way, was amazing. Still amazing, really happy they did that. Um, we've been very happy with our Fireteam Power and how it's removed the power barrier that was previously preventing players of different engagement levels from playing together, which is good. With this improvement in place, we are revisiting some of our previous decisions that sought to achieve the same goal, namely power band increases. Before the Lightfall expansion, increasing power caps by 10 each season provided new goals for end game players to aspire to and added value to completing pinnacle activities such as raids and dungeons ah yes a sense of uh um you know accomplishment what was that what uh, the the whole star wars battlefront 2 thing <laughs> fire team power will still be there so friends can always play together even if some players choose not to pursue the new power caps starting on october 8th with revenant and again in the next episode we'll once uh, more be increasing power caps by 10 to return that pursuit to end game players. The result power bands and revenant will be and it's basically just 10 levels past obviously the current pinnacle. Wow! I'm jealous end game players. You get a number increase that it provides nothing other than a uh, a key to be able to do the things that you were already doing to do them again and more importantly uh we want you to go through your materials again with your upgrade modules to start infusing again um this is the most tone deaf freaking part of this thing and it makes me so frustrated i'll explain why again hear me out the people that are always so defensive on this stuff i get it listen i'm not stupid i know that i'm gonna get to pinnacle power probably in day one day two Max. I know. But hear me out first. What they are saying in this, not what they're literally writing and wanting you to read. What they really mean is hey, end game players, we are desperate for playtime. So instead of doing the right thing, we're con continuing to do the wrong thing where you have a bad, sour taste in your mouth, playing these acts, doing these new episodes, going forward, 
where after you're done with doing whatever that we give you, that you don't want to come back. You don't want to go through and start infusing things again. We want to make something tedious, but we want playtime desperately because that's what we're doing. We need that artificial playtime. Artificial. And I know people be like, but in MMOs, they do this. Yes, here's the difference. I'm fine with power increases and expansions. You know why? You get a big expansion of content where you get a big story, new patrol, a raid. You got, you know, maybe a new strike, maybe some PvP stuff. Gambit gets an update, which they did with Final Shape. You got all these weapons, like a ton of new things to play around with. A new subclass, for example. Whatever. So when you're doing the powerful and pinnacle grind, you're not noticing the difference. You're not noticing that you're doing this huge grind because there's so much stuff to do. And there is. But let's be real. Episode 1 showed us what to expect. This is not going to be any different other than we are getting a dungeon, which is good. It's good. I can't wait to see what it is. But that's not until Friday. So we got to prep our power levels doing the new stuff. Oh, we know what the new stuff is most likely going to be. We're obviously going get, to get the story from Act 1 all at once, which is nice. That was good that they did that. I know that people are going to be like, well, there's nothing else to do, which... Uh, <laughs> That's not the player's fault. Again, I want people to know that, but that, that's good that we can go through the story. So we'll have that to take our uh, attention. And then most likely a battleground-esque kind of activity. Whether we get two or just one at the start. Um, reason why I say two is we did get that Vex network speed run thing, which was like reusing some stuff, but it was interesting. But that was also like a, a new, quote unquote, new thing to do. Um, okay, so that's not an expansion amount of stuff, so most likely with these pinnacle grinds, you're going to have to do other activities to finish that pinnacle grind, most likely. I could be wrong, but anyways, it's still really, really, really sad that essentially they don't even want to say the real reason why they're doing it. It's artificial grinds. The fact that they even mentioned the end game players. You end game players, do you like having a number increase that literally means nothing? That it's just there to be there for playtime and mean nothing even if you get past the pinnacle cap with your artifact rank? Where you're not going to do more damage or be more strong for master content. No, you're still going to be squishy. You like that? No. And those of you who like to use the, the wow, MMOs. MMOs add a lot of content for you to do. Where it's like the expansions in Destiny. Maybe not one-to-one. -one. Sometimes MMOs definitely have way more than Destiny when it comes to an expansion, but it, the point I'm making is that an episode is not an expansion. It is an episode, and we've seen how much content we get, and we're not even getting all that content quickly. It's every act we have to wait. We're going to be done with our pinnacle grind by Act 2 and Act 3, where we get the rest of what the episode has, whether it be battle strikes or an exotic mission or whatever. So, yeah, when they mention raids even, oh, a reason to do raids for a power level increase. This is sad. Again, what they're telling you is they are increasing this because they want playtime, an artificial reason for it, which is them saying we don't really want to do more on our end. We want you to do more on your end. Like, they don't want it on their end, my end, or whatever, the devs, the, the higher-ups, whatever. Whoever that's making... The, apparently, the power grind experts over there are like, you know, nah, we don't want to... We don't want to add more playtime by doing the smart things. Now, here's where I want you to hear me out, those who defend this. What would you rather have? 
this dry like rice cake flavor grind with a number next to it that you have to use your infusion materials to, uh, to everything that you just probably got done doing or most definitely not because the reality is you don't infuse everything that's in your vault so there's just you're always going to be behind on the pinnacle grinds on getting your stuff up to par um and i know that they're going to increase the pinnacle uh caps of old content this is why it's also really annoying so if you want to do the uh expert the high level grandmasters or like onslaught or whatever uh anything old that has like at lost sectors you're gonna have to do this grind again get that pinnacle grind up do solo stuff so yeah but would you rather have this or them tell you, hey, we took something from the DCV, the Destiny Content Vault, brought it back, and made some changes to where either, like, if they took the Leviathan Ring, or Scourge, let's say Scourge, they bring back Scourge, have the weapons in there, add random rolls to those weapons, and give a endgame grind to get the catalyst for Anarchy, like a cool one. Imagine that would get you to play, right? That's real playtime, not artificial that they're getting because you want to play for one, the fun of playing something that you lost that you had before that they took away and two, that they're giving it something new to go for may not be like a new encounter change and like new raid mechanics to it, but at least the loot is getting something of a reason to be like, whoa, Okay, this goes for anything. Heck, they could bring back uh, a patrol area like uh, Mars with uh, Warmind uh, Escalation Protocol and have maybe some old weapons dropping from those bosses with random rolls and new origin trait. I'm not talking about the Ikelos weapons because I know we already have those, but anything, anything. I mean, they, they, they sunset sunsetting. So they can give us anything that was like like from Forsaken or whatever previous that we never gotten back. Or even something that's more recent that isn't wasn't during the sun setting, but never got an origin trait and cool perks that they can put in there. There's infinite possibilities that is using old stuff where it's less work for them, but it's not our responsibility to have the playtime for them where they have to do less to get that playtime. It's us that gets the playtime or that gives them the playtime from them putting in some kind of effort of an excuse to do end game stuff. End game players! You are end game players! That's what they're saying. In this, they're not talking about your best buddy that maybe gets on destiny for two two uh strikes or a dungeon run with you that doesn't want to do the power grind and they rely on the fire team thing which is good fire team power level is good they're talking to end game players like this is something that you would like if you would like this i don't know why you would why would you want a level increase that means nothing in every episode than getting what i just said Heck, they can even take King's Falls weapons and just add more perks to the weapons and people would ha would go back and do those things. Solo players. It, it, imagine they were like, hey, we, we brought back, like I said, those the Escalation Protocol and um, added some random rolls to cool stuff that you can get. Wh like, oh, we brought back some strikes that we took away. And there's some cool new weapons that you can get in them. I don't know. Anything. Imagine they took uh, old dungeons and gave them, uh, gave the weapons a rework that we're dropping from them. Like, uh, let's, let's take, like, uh, the pit. Take those weapons. Give them new rolls, an origin trait. And, and maybe an exotic or a catalyst that you can get from the dungeon at the end. That is not, that is what would be like real playtime that they're trying to gain from you. Not artificial. 
this is artificial play playtime, which is sad. Because if I was to read this as if they were really meaning it, with this improvement in place, revisiting uh, our, our previous decisions as sought to achieve the same goal, namely power band increase, <laughs> like, what say the same goal as fire team power level? It, th those were things to limit power level as a as a needed thing as for playtime. That that's what I thought it was when they removed it in the seasons. It was not like, oh yeah, we we uh we removed it because um uh, it made it difficult for uh those uh lower skill player or not skill players but the the the, the people that don't play as much and they wanted and do don't want to do pinnacle stuff every three months like I, like but end game players this was never so i never thought that that was like why they changed it was to make sure that end game players didn't have something to go for what like it, it's just the fact that they even say new goals for endgame players to aspire to an added value to completing pinnacle activities such as raids and dungeons. Eh. One new dungeon, no new raids, not even an old one coming back. No, I mean, we're probably going to obviously have a, a pinnacle activity, like a battleground thing, maybe two, if, um, if we're lucky at the start of the new act uh, for act one. But that's it. It's not like they're going to overhaul Gambit and PvP and Strikes right now to make it feel new. So when you're doing a lot of this other Pinnacle stuff, like the, uh, you know, Nightfall or whatever, it's going to feel like a brand new experience. No, it's just we want you to get on the game and play constantly the old stuff. I, we don't care if it's stale and we haven't done anything to it and we haven't touched it. We want your playtime. And again, I get it. I get it. Layoffs, all this stuff. I said it in the 10th anniversary, but... That doesn't mean that they have to do something like this, which again, read what it really is. You who plays the game, we want to punish you. We want to use you for our to get uh, our our playtime amount that we need to uh, keep having without us doing more. Oh, no. Even if it means like we could take something from the Destiny content vault and bring it back or even take something that's already in the game and maybe change some weapon rules or whatever to like King's Fall or even uh, some stuff that don't e don't even have adepts like Fall to Glass and Garden of Salvation. Nah, no, nah, we'll just go the easy, easy route and just add 10 levels to the power. They don't even they even blatantly say that power means nothing. That it's just, it's like the, the reason why they did the fire team power and all that stuff is because they want to limit that stuff. They're still thinking that end game players, well, they don't, they know, they know that end game players don't really care about the power increase. They just, they know that the reason why we do do those power, in, like power grinds is so then we, it's like a checklist. It's so manipulative. It's sad. It's sad. So if you're still like, oh, I love this more than the things that you mentioned, I don't know what to tell you. There's nothing exciting for a 10 level increase. But what could be a little bit exciting is getting maybe the Leviathan raid back with some random rolls or uh, a patrol area like Mars having Escalation Protocol back with some new weapons in there or old weapons with new perks and origin trait to grind for each each day like it'll have that rotation like it used to um and same thing with uh like strikes from mars would come back so then we'd be like oh i i, I want to do those things again and they're on the nightfalls maybe we get a pvp map back or a d1 map into the episode to give us a reason to go into pvp this is not it. Artificial grinds in Destiny shows that Bungie does not care to do the right thing. They care about doing the thing that makes them 
have things the way that they want it, which is, again, a certain amount of play time. They want, they don't want people to just log in and just log out and wait till the dungeon. They don't want that. No, they don't want that from the end game players that are taking a break and playing other games. They don't want that. That's what they really mean with this. There's no other way they can sit there and justify this. There isn't. And they tried to in this. By literally naming the endgame players in that category and say as if like that's something that we love to pursue. I see some people say that they do enjoy it. I get it in like maybe expansions. It's, it is a reason to do uh, a lot of this stuff like to prepare for the new raid and whatever. But when it comes to one dungeon and that's it and nothing really much else uh in these episodes that's why seasons episodes power increases made no sense and i still stand by that i still do so if you're for this i again you're telling me that you would much rather have that than the things that i mentioned and if you say oh that's too difficult for bungie to do i i don't think so I really don't think it would be that difficult to even just take King's Fall weapons that are already in the game and give them random, like, new roles. Like, they just pick something in the game that people don't want to play or haven't been playing because they already got all the things that they want or whatever, and they're like, hey! Remember the pit? Hey. We updated the perks on those things. Go for them. Why not do that? Hey! You know that, um... That one thing that was uh, old and we haven't updated. Oh, now it's updated with new new weapons. It does so for all of you. They're like, well, it's really difficult for them to you know because they gotta make sure Leviathan works with the new engine updates. Blah. I'm mentioning even stuff that's already in the game, and it's just updating the loot. That is easy. That is. I, I don't. I don't. No, I'm not defending this. I can't. This is just. I can't. I, oh, it's so disappointing. Because I know, the reason why I get disappointed is because I am, I, I care for Destiny to do better. That's what I want. Of course I want that. So things like this makes people more on the outside look in and be like, haha, what is this? I mean, I, I was seeing people tell me that, you know, stop complaining about this. Don't play the game. People are not playing the game. And that's what's leading to the game failing. And it will continue down that route. You think that's... that? Look at Concord. There was nobody playing it. They shut down the game. That can happen with Destiny. They even said that they that could happen again, possibly. When they were talking about... like they Well, they had it almost happen with Curse of Osiris during that time. And that was when I was trying to defend Destiny. Like... It's just... No, don't have that response. Have... Yeah, no, uh, let's have this conversation. Let's let's try and tell Bungie that we as endgame players would like these other things instead if you want playtime. I would love to play Destiny way more. Where I don't feel like I'm being told to. We don't like being told what to do. Oh no, you gotta play Destiny. You gotta. We want to feel like we made that choice. If they were to tell us they, they did something to old content to that would be like, whoa, I definitely want to do this. That's us choosing to do it. That's where it needs to go. It's no different than you don't like being told by a, a the, some random content creator to, to, to be upset like that content creator, you know? <laughs> you don't like being told negative things. I don't want to feel negative because you said that I should be negative. I want to be positive. Well, it's the same thing here. <laughs> you shouldn't be uh, happy that Bungie is telling you, hey, we want you to get your playtime because we want it. So you should be like, I, 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 I'm happy that I'm doing the playtime for you because uh, you earned it. I don't know. I'm still looking forward to this new episode, but why? Why? Because I, it's, it's so, why? It's why. So any of you that's making the comparison again to MMOs and stuff, you need to play MMOs. Um, the, the again when they do these like increases and stuff, and even then they the, a lot of players that do MMOs will complain if it's really really stale 
it means nothing like the the level increases and destiny is one where it really is meaningless like power level is just a entry ticket to do content that you uh, originally were able to do last episode and now you can't because you gotta get that 10 levels up again well you want to do the uh, uh onslaught that we haven't updated i still don't understand why they won't do that update onslaught what if they said that, hey, we updated Onslaught with some more weapons and and some new maps. We took uh, Disjunction, you know that poopy map for PvP? Oh, we turned it into a PvE. And you're going to love it. I actually would be curious to see how that map would turn out uh, in, in Onslaught. I think that it would actually be good. <laughs> it wouldn't be bad. That's where it, like, it, would, it would get its shine, you know? Like, heck, even Midtown looks amazing for PvE with that Onslaught mode. So, it's all this stuff that I'm mentioning. That's why it gets just... just it's so frustrating. Again, uh, here I am talking for 30 minutes about the most smallest thing that I know as an endgame player I'm going to get. Max Pinnacle Cap. Day 1, maybe Day 2. Like, I'm way ahead before this dungeon. Maybe I'll be wrong and, and it won't be enough pinnacle grind. I don't know. But, I it, it, and yet, it's just because you, it's just, you know why they're doing it. It's not because of the things that they said. Man, you, yeah, I really, you know, you know that time that they did a vidoc uh, talking about uh, Destiny's expansion? They were like... Yeah, power increase is being increased by a hundred levels. Like it was like one big point in the video. No, I actually don't even think that they've ever really, other than maybe for two seconds, like go, oh yeah, by the way, the yeah, power is being increased. But a uh, new ex subclass exotics and new because they, you know, they know, they know power increases. Is they're just there for the playtime. They're there for the prepping of raids and stuff, whatever. In this case, I guess it's the prep for a dungeon, but it's just where, when it's just one thing that you're preparing for. <laughs> and, and then you gotta do it again to infuse. That's a fun thing, is infusing things again. Oh, I love that feature. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Uh, you know what I would much rather have? Instead of a power increase, just give me like a like a level bar um, of like activities that you do. Like you got to do like, it's like 50. Um, and like, you know, a dungeon encounter is like plus three. Uh, a raid encounter is also like maybe like plus four and like a strike is plus one, whatever. And when you get it to plus 50, when you get that bar to 50, Boom! Everything in your vault, everything on your guardian is max power. Boom! Right there. And if they want to do the uh, whole, like, you know, oh, we're, here's the power floor, soft cap, powerful cap, then have it be like, oh, get plus 10 to get to the soft cap, plus 25 after that to get the powerful cap, and then plus 50 to get through the pinnacle. And if you're already at the pinnacle from last episode, because you did the plus whatevers, then you get the plus 50 and that's it that's all you gotta do is to do plus 50. you don't have to do the plus 10 and then the plus 25. see what i'm getting at for those who are like i love numbers <laughs> like then fine do it like that you get to choose what you get to play you don't have to go what uh what has a golden coin on it i don't know if i did this on my my character oh the last wish has got a gold coin on it oh but i forgot that's uh at the uh last encounter uh let's go get that checkpoint because there's no point of doing the encounters because it doesn't increase our power level. And I'm getting nothing out of it because I already have the red borders and crafted weapons the last wish of weapons. So might as well just do the final boss. You see where I'm getting at. So even if you're like, I want the power increase, the thing I just mentioned probably would have been better. Way better. Because it gets everything to the pinnacle. But they would never do that because then what's the point of upgrade modules? What's the point of them? Get rid of them, is what I'm saying. Like, I mean, you got rid of legendary shards, so why not upgrade modules and just make it about your game time? Sorry, am I making too much sense to, to right now? I don't. I really. I. I think I need to lie down. I need to take it easy. I'm still excited, but you know, vampires and stuff, though. 
And the dungeon. And if it's a spooky mansion for the dungeon, oh, that'd be even better. Probably won't. I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but you never know. 30 minutes. Ranting about power level. And I guarantee we'll still see maybe a comment or two being like, but I love this system. But I love it. Why are you complaining? Why? And just whoosh on everything that I mentioned, because I, I get it. It's tough to listen to me for 30 minutes, making sense on all those points that can counter anybody saying, but 10 levels are great. I just mentioned the, the point system, which would be the same thing, but instead of having to infuse all that stuff again, you would just have everything in your vault. Just done. Done. That would be a way better system. Way better, because it's just your play. You play on the game. You can do whatever you want. We know you do. You don't need Bungie to tell you what to do. And if they really want to make you do certain things, make, make, maybe make those gold coin icon things be like, oh, if you do this, you're going to get plus five guaranteed. And that, that, that grind to get through that, that bar to get to the max pinnacle. Huh? Uh. I just, I don't know. This is what this is what the, this game does to you. <laughs> Regardless, I hope you have a chibi tastic day, night, evening, wherever you are. You let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. But please, if you're gonna say that this is really really cool and you love the power increase, tell me that why the things that I mentioned was a bad idea. How about that? Right, let's have a conversation. But if if, if not, if you agree with what I'm saying, leave a like on the video and tell me what what, what would you, what would get your playtime? And it doesn't have to be something brand new content. It could be something from the DCV or something that's already in the game, just getting a new coat of paint. Whatever it could be, like a couple weapons, change weapon perks on King's Fall or whatever. Vault of Glass now has red border farms. And adept weapons with the... Well, they already have adept weapons. I just realized that. And vault glass and stuff. But we don't have, uh, you know, the weapon crafting. We don't have an origin trait. Maybe they had perks. Whatever. whatever. Just let me know in the comments down below. But regardless, I am still going to play the new episode. That <laughs> You got me, Bungie. Because, again, vampires, spooky, and dungeon. I like dungeons. I look forward to the dungeon. If you want me to be positive... See me in the new episode with the dungeon and the story and seeing we make potions breaking bad reference. Why are you blue? Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Cheap out.